to compile the export template for Android, we need some Android tools. These are available through the Android Studio, but we will only install the command line tools. So we will go ahead and scroll down to where we can download the command line tools only. We extract the command line tools. We can name this folder anything we like. I'm going to name it Android SDK. This will be our Android SDK root. If you're on Windows, the procedure will probably be the same with some minor differences. What I like to do is to extend the path environment variable with the command line tools. We need to make Godot realize that we can build for Android. To do this, we set the variable Android SDK root. Set this to the directory we created and called Android SDK. This variable will be removed once we close the terminal. To make this command persistent, we can place the command in the bash rc file. So now when you start another terminal, it will recognize this directory. We now need to accept some terms and agreements. To do this, we type this command. All these commands are down in the description and also in the Godot documentation. We type this command and see that we are missing some dependencies. Install the default Java development kit. We can now run the command and it will ask you a bunch of accept questions. Of course, we have already read this, so we press yes every time. When we press yes several times, we can Type our next command. This will install the tools we need to build. Here it is important that we set the SDK root Android SDK root path variable that we just created. now go ahead and compile the templates. We need to compile both the release and the debug templates. We do this by specifying the target and the platform. Of course we need to install scons. I don't care about ARM v7, but if you do, you also need to compile for these architectures. Last thing we need to do is to go to this directory right here and we need to run gradlu generate godot templates. Godot will install Gradlu for you.
The resulting APK will be located in the binary directory. You can use it to export for Android now. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, I will do my best to answer.